Yeah, so here we go, man. No longer T.I. We got T.I.P., you know, with the Nick EP. He dropping a full-length album sometime this year. You dig what I'm saying? And it definitely was a good look to see him go back to his roots. This definitely is for the fans, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I'm going to call this an album review instead of a mixtape. You did because it's on iTunes. And, you know, he just came with some of that heat. You know, I was skeptical at first. Listen, I'm going to keep it real. You know, I was like playing it and I'm like, I don't know about this. And so I tuned off of it. But a couple interviews got me in tune with it. You know, I'm like, all right, let me get this shit a chance. You dig what I'm saying? And then I go listen to it and I'm like, okay, if it, it, it's not on the level of no king, trap music, uh, paper trail, like none of that. But you, you definitely see he, he's got something. Definitely. You know what I mean? If he can tone his craft a little bit, you know, and get back to that, you know, on point instead of trying to chase a hit. And I definitely think he'll have a, a, a classic under his hands. He just needs to just let loose and be him. You know what I mean? You definitely feel it on broadcast live. You know, you, you hear him repping where he's repping, you know, his side. Um, his flow is there. The content is there. I don't really know about that that production, you know, but at the end of the day, it's still fair, fairly good, you know. And I like it, but it just feel like we need some of that, that top back type T.I. You feel what I'm saying? That shit was classic. And then it go into Ain't Gonna See It Coming. I wasn't feeling that beat at all. I mean, it was very hard to get into that track. That's just a track to where it's like, a, it's cool, you know what I mean? But it ain't no no bang or nothing like that. But it is what it is. Uh, check, run it. Basically about getting that money. You already know how T.I. do, man. He do what he do and it kind of flexing, you know, talking that money talk, that trap talk, you know what I mean, that street shit. And it is what it is. His flow was definitely more on point on this joint. You know, I definitely was fucking with the lyrics and... I was, you know, up and down on this track as well at first, but then I went back and really listened to it, and it's like, okay, T.I. getting back to it. PB&J, Young Thug, Young Dro, that shit dope as fuck. You know, at first I was like, what? Peter Butter and Jelly? What kind of shit is this? And then you listen to it, and it's just like that beat and Young Thug doing what Young Thug do, regardless of his personal life. That nigga know how to make a motherfucking hook with a good melody, and he know how to pit his words, even if they sound incoherent as fuck, you know how to put them together in a way where, you know, you can't deny a song. A hit song is a hit song, and that nigga got one with that joint. And of course, we go to Project Steps. That You know, that was like the very first record that I think released earlier this year. You know what I mean? It's hard as fuck. That's that old T.I. we love, you know what I mean? That song get three checks all the way, man. And that's the T.I. that I'm hoping to get on this new album. You feel me? But, I mean... At the end of the day, it is what it is. Four and a half out of five. I like four out of five records. The beats, four and a half out of five. I mean, it's just waiting to see what T.I. A lot of people wasn't really feeling, you know what I mean, his last couple projects. I think the last official project that people probably was fucking with, you could say Trouble Man, you dig. I'm still king all the way, you know, that's my favorite T.I. album. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Other than that, man, I holler at y'all. One.